fly species in Nebraska can reduce weight gains in cattle, damage eye tissue, cause irritation, and cost producers a significant amount of money. Nebraska Extension's Dave Boxler says farmers and ranchers need to be aware of face flies, horn flies, and stable flies in Nebraska, especially during this point of summer. We talked with Dave Tuesday afternoon near the West Central Research and Extension Center in North Platte and began by talking about fly numbers so far in 2016. Well, we've had significant uh, horn fly populations uh, throughout the, this area of the, of the state. Also, very high stable fly populations in our pastured cattle. Why? Well, uh, it, it kind of goes along with all the moisture that we received earlier this spring and, and actually what we've been receiving uh, during the early part of the summer. Kind of unusual, but uh, the extra moisture allows the manure pats to stay um, with a little more moisture that allows the horn fly to complete its life cycle. Because it takes about 10 to 12 days to go from egg to adult. So traditionally when we see a very arid, hot, dry summer, you'll see lower horn fly populations this time of the year. But that's not what we're seeing right now. Why is that important? What kind of damage can they do? Well, horn flies can certainly impact uh, calf weaning weights anywhere from four to 15%. Uh, Nebraska studies show that anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 pounds can be lost at, at weaning time. So it's important to provide some means of fly control. There's a lot of different methodologies out there and you have to select the one that best fits your management style. Give me the signs to look for that uh, you might have a problem with horn flies. Well, if you go out, uh, say, between 8 and 10 in the morning when it's reasonably cool, if you see the horn fly uh, numbers, which are a smaller fly, about 3 sixteenths of an inch in size. If you see patches that are larger than the diameter of a three inch circle, you have a population that exceeds the economic injury level of 200 flies per, per animal. So that's something you want to watch for. You don't want to go out in the middle of the day and, and look at your populations because during that time period, the flies will be under the belly and you won't be able to get a very accurate assessment. What are the signs that you might have problems with other flies? Well, certainly with stable flies, if you see your cattle bunched in the corners of pastures, stomping uh, their legs, that is a, an excellent sign that you have a stable fly issue. And uh, our studies have shown where as few as about three and a half flies per leg will inflict uh, damage levels of or losses of 0.44 pounds per day in gain. So highly significantly impacting fly. Face flies? Face flies, we've seen a few out in this area of the state, again because of the high moisture that we receive. Traditionally, we'll see higher populations in eastern Nebraska where it's uh, a little more moist, but here we've seen some activity. I've actually seen some pink eye damage to some calves here most recently, cattle especially grazing along the river areas. In fact, I have got one client that we're working with that has a, a couple of issues with some of his, uh, his calves. How late into the summer or into the fall will these problems go? Well, certainly the horn flies will be with us probably well through mid-September, depending upon when we get our first frost. If we um, start losing our precipitation and continue to warm up, the stable fly numbers will kind of uh, decline a little bit. And they have in the last two weeks because we've been warm. Most recently received a, uh, an ample uh, amount of moisture, which may enhance their population once again. Reiterate to me what temperature does to those flies. Well, temperature, certainly the warmer it is, uh, it dries conditions out. The manure pat for the horn fly, the decaying organic material for the stable fly. Without moisture, the flies cannot complete development. We'll link to more information on fly control and pastured cattle on the Market Journal homepage.